<laughs> All right, so uh, I believe this is my second time mission conference this church. So last time that when uh, Pastor works in here, I was here. So I had a good time. So I, w- I can't believe that I'll be here today. So uh, it's, I just want to share quick uh, my background a little bit, testimony, and also a little bit of uh, the overcoming ministry history. So um, I was born in a small village, like tiny village. It's like less than 20 houses. So I was born in there, and uh, this was uh, called Chin State and then Burma. So my parent w- uh, was divorced when I was a child. So that's, um, in July 2008, when I was a teenager, I left my country or skipped the country to Malaysia. And then in Malaysia, I was there with my cousin family, and then we was applying for uh, we was applying for uh, to become refugee, so it's called uh, UNHCR, so that we can come here in the state. So, because I will not explain all the whole detail because, uh, for the sake of the time. So uh, they accepted us as a refugee and we stayed there, Malaysia for two years. So a lot of people, they, they stay there five years, 10 or more, so but uh, God, been good to us. We only stayed there two years. And October 2010, by God grace, my cousin family and I moved to Chicago. And then, long story short, uh, I I was kind of Christian. I was I grew up with my grandparent from my dad's side, and my grandpa was Buddhist, and my grandma was uh, Christian. I was kind of like going to church and then Buddhist temple, between confusing. And even Malaysia, I kind of go to church, but I never knew that I was born again, or I never knew that I was 100% sure that I will be going to heaven when I die. So, in uh, July 2012, that First Baptist Church Hammond, they had a youth conference. So, uh, before that, I somebody invited me to come to uh, First Baptist Church the bus, through the bus ministry. So, I went there a couple of times. So I still are learning English, so I don't understand a lot. And then uh, I kind of like on and off. But uh, youth conference that I won there, July 15, 16, 17, 2012, the three day that they do. So the last day of the conference that a preacher, man, uh, the name of uh, Brother Candy Bowen, that he preached. So through his message, it's like he preaching about salvation, hell, heaven, all that. I got convicted. I'm like, I need to be saved. So, through that his uh, message, so I confess my sin, and then I repent and trust in Jesus. And the theme was, follow me that, that year. So I was like, so we, so it's kind of the end of the conference. So we, they start singing, I have decided to follow Jesus. And all the teenagers, all the, so we went there, I was uh, about, so 2012, I was um, 17. So we went there, uh, I, I went there and praying. The Pope in front there, I was like, I don't know what to do. And Lord, I trust in you, but I don't know what, uh, what my future will hold. So it's, it's up to you. And I felt like God wanted me to be a missionary. Amen. And God... I surrender my life to you. You control my life, so I will do anything that you want me to do. So I start praying that, and then uh, and later on, the church had private school, and my bus worker helped me to go private school for two years, my junior, senior year, and then graduate 2014 high school, and then we have the Bible college that I went to Bible college for four years to, ser- uh, to serve God during my study year that I was... I had so many difficult times, you know, a lot of things going on in life, but uh, but I kept trusting God, and then kept going. So it's a lot of challenge, but that church we had uh, the bus ministry that I love to serve, and by my, my bus route we had all different kind of nationality. It's uh, it's like already I feel like already mission field. So we from uh, we got Burmese people, we got Indian, we got Nepali. We got African, all different kinds of nationality group that are. So the bus route that my bus 
captain got me there. So when I became a bus worker, I go back there. So my bus captain became a missionary to Honduras. So he left over and I took his spot. So it's this will get so I love the children very much and want them to know God and I'm I'm passionate the kid to have a right future. So also I I was graduate Bible college 2018 and also got and also I was able to choose uh, to go uh, the Holy Land Israel for 10 days that uh, you know learn a lot of thing that from there and change my life too and. I moved to Indianapolis here to start uh, overcoming ministry because Indianapolis is like one of the largest Burmese community in the state. We have more than 25,000. So after moving to Indian Indianapolis here in uh, July 2018, God led, uh, led me to start overcoming ministry through faith alone. Many challenges await me and especially transportation, you know, in my car, regular car, I put like seven, eight kid. You know, you're not supposed to do it. But you know, the jungle, that's when we skip the country, we put many people, you know, 10. So I'm used to it. So here, the kid, they wanna come, they love to come. So I just put it in there. Thank God, uh, police never pulled me over. So I skipped from that, so. So the kid and I, we've been keep praying that uh, we needed a space and also transportation. And God provided years ago that um, office uh, storefront that we rent. I rent there about a year and then uh, run. I was by myself there and uh, teaching and doing it. And uh, here, uh, Pastor G helped me. Later on, we get to know him. And then uh, he helped me. Sometimes he came and teach. Uh, the kid and preach, so that's how we uh, get to know each other. So, and uh, overcome a ministry that uh, the history here, overcome a ministry is a ministry focused on young people and Burmese immigrants. So like I said early, our community had more than 25,000 people living in Indianapolis, making the largest Burmese community in the country. So, Burma is a home to more than 135 different different ethnic groups. We have more than 135. So all different uh, dialect that we spoke. So the main purpose of this ministry is to help young people to grow in their relationship with Jesus Christ, to help and to teach them to develop spiritually, physically, mentally, and also social development of Burmese immigrant adults. So most of the parents, of course, they don't speak much English. So I help, I, I've been helping them how to become a citizen. And if they want to apply for a job, if they had, if they had appointment, phone call, bill, anything. So I help those parents. So that's how I got uh, the kid uh, to come over. So overcome a ministry joy, Greenwood Bible Baptist Church on September 11, 2021. And uh, we are continuously expanding the help of volunteer teacher, bus driver, and other. So we are having the kit. So we do it every Saturday. So we are close to 200. So the average is 100, 120, 30. So we had that, um, we run two buses every Saturday. So that is the limitation of our driver. So if I can have more driver, more bus, I can run more than that. So a lot of kids, they are begging us, can you pick me up? You know, the bus is full. So I like to pack the 84 passengers, like I can, I can pack more than 100. So, but the state, they say, the, my driver say, it's not allowed. <laughs> so I can't do nothing about it. So I don't want to lose him. So I can only, what the bus says, so 66, so I can only put 66, 77. So uh, help me with that. So anyhow, so uh, allow me to express my attitude to Almighty God. I am who I am today because of His grace Amen. and love. I thank the Lord for His blessing and for giving me this wisdom to establish this ministry. All glory belongs to Him. Amen. And also I would like to thank Pastor, a church member, 
for inviting me for the, uh, this uh, mission conference. So may God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother.